Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Byronic, and today we're playing Destiny Alpha. Now, I wanted to take a little bit of time to explain to you guys the uh, point of the Cryptarch. N not so much the point, but uh, how I've taken advantage of it so far, and I think it would be something interesting that you guys should check out as well. So basically what the Cryptarch does is it allows you to take your glimmer, your currency, and convert it into items, random items. Basically, if you select this one, it's a primary weapon engram, then you'll be able to get a random weapon that may fit what you want, that's, that maybe is better than what you have. And a lot of you people who are doing alpha will probably still have a lot of white items so far. You won't have any of the uh, green weapons, or uh, you'll probably have some green gear. Anyways, to be able to unlock the green quality Cryptarch, it says underneath there the prerequisite is Cryptarch rank 1. Okay, the rest of this white stuff, you don't need anything except for the glimmer itself. Okay, this is your rank over here, reputation with the Crypto Archaeology. Uh, awarded by decoding engrams with the Cryptarch, unlocks new engrams for purchase. So basically, by just using your glimmer to spam purchasing the, uh, the white items, you can uh, unlock the green items, okay? My recommendation would be to purchase the cheapest items. I think they all give the same amount of reputation. Like the chest piece, 220 glimmer. The gloves, 170. So I made a bunch of gloves, got up to rank one so I could purchase these weapons. Now, the nice part about it is that you can get pretty much everything that you want, right? You can get an auto rifle, you can get a hand cannon, you can get a pulse rifle, you can get scout rifles, you can be, get basically everything. Now, what the stats on it are and what particular weapon you get is random, so keep that in mind. Uh, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm actually, uh, my my special weapon right here, I'm, I have a few whites left. I really want to get a green shotgun. It's possible that I might not, and I just want to demonstrate the use of this, uh, this system. So basically, just come over here. It costs 440, meaning I'm only going to be able to do this twice because I used quite a bit of my glimmer to, per, uh, to rank up to rank one. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so we got a Trajan C and a Frost. Okay, so I don't think I got what I was looking for, but you know what? That's okay. That's the point of this system. Oh shit. Okay, well, also keep in mind that sometimes when you use it, you will get items that are above your level. I'm level 8. The max level is level 8, so you can only get that stuff. So I got a fusion rifle, level 9, which is far better than my current fusion rifle. As you can see, 43 versus 109. Uh, and then a level 10 sniper rifle, which again is better than my sniper rifle. 51 to 122. Now, the Cryptarch also is useful for another thing. If you have gone out into a dungeon like a strike or out in the world and you picked up these items, you can actually turn them in uh, to decode them into something else. So I've got these three items right here. I've got a class item, I've got some boots, and a special weapon engram. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this. We can decode it, they'll do it for free. Okay, that also gives you a skill, so if you take a look at the top right, it gives you a plus 100 skill. So technically, you could save your Glimmer and just get it off of um, this stuff, but if you want to get it quickly, that's up to you. So let's go ahead and do this again. So we got another Mark of Fury, we got 100 skill. Let's look at the legs. Illyrium Type 2. We'll, check, we'll take a look at all these items when we're done, and a uh, Gozen C. So now let's, uh, we, we also, that weapon gave us 300 reputation. So actually, weapons and armor, certain specific items will probably give you more reputation. Uh, currently, I have not seen any items that require a Cryptarch rank 2. However, if you take a look at the stock refresh button, the items available will change every so often. Okay, right now there's 52 minutes left on this set. So if you're looking for maybe a heavy weapon or something specific, you might be able to find it here. So let's go back and see what particular items we got. So we got a sniper rifle. Okay, this one does meet our level. It's 96 damage. It's definitely better than this sniper rifle. And uh, let's see, what else did we get? Uh, we got some boots. Okay, these are level 11, but it does give us 12 discipline, which I believe reduces grenade cooldown time. Yeah, it does. So that's really good. That's twice the, um, twice the amount and twice the uh, defense. And as for the mark of the beacon, these titan marks, I honestly don't know what they do. It just, it, this little, I don't know, f uh, corded flap thing, that, that's basically all it does for now. I mean, it might have a purpose later, but I don't know. Anyways, the point is, I wanted to show you guys how you use this, what it's for, 
and uh, what it looks like when you actually use it. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Byronic. That is it.